We will end our lesson on proofs with one final useful proof technique called proof by cases. The idea is to prove that P is true by proving if P then Q and if not Q then P for some statement Q. So no matter what, whether or not Q is true, we know that P is true. In fact, we could generalize this. Suppose we want to prove P. We know that at least one of the statements Q1, Q2 through QN is true. If we can show if Q1 then P and if Q2 then P and so on, all the way to if QN then P, then we can conclude P. The key thing is that we want to be sure that one of our cases, meaning the Q sub I's, must be true no matter what. If the last paragraph was confusing, perhaps an example will make things better. Let's work on proving for any integer n, the number n cubed minus n is even. We might be able to prove that n cubed minus n is even if we knew that n was even. In fact, we could probably prove that n cubed minus n was even if n was odd. But since n must be either even or odd, this will be enough. To write a proof by cases, we have two cases to consider. Where case one, n is even, then n is equal to 2k for some integer k, and case two is n is odd, then n equals 2k plus one for some integer k. And now let's proceed to our proof. We consider two cases, if n is even or if n is odd. Case one, n is even, then n equals 2k for some integer k. n cubed minus n is equal to the cube of 2k minus 2k, which is equal to eight cubed minus 2k, Notice eight cubed minus two k has a common factor of two. We can write n cubed minus n as two times the quantity four k cubed minus k. And since four k cubed minus k is an integer, n cubed minus n is equal to two times an integer, which indicates n cubed minus n is even. Now we move on to case two, where n is odd. Then n is equal to two k plus one for some integer k. And we go through the process again n cubed minus n is equal to the cube of 2k plus one minus the quantity 2k plus one. There are no shortcuts for cubing the quantity 2k plus one. We have three factors of 2k plus one. Multiplying all this out, we get n cubed minus n is equal to eight k cubed plus 12k squared plus six k plus one. This is the cube of 2k plus one. And then we have minus 2k minus one when we subtract the quantity 2k plus one. Combining like terms, we have n cubed minus n is equal to eight k cubed plus 12k squared minus four k. Notice there is a common factor of two. We can write n cubed minus n as two times the quantity four k cubed plus six k squared plus two k. Since four k cubed plus six k squared plus two k is an integer and n cubed minus n is equal to two times some integer, Therefore, n cubed minus n is even again. Since n cubed minus n is even in both exhaustive cases, we see that n cubed minus n is indeed always even, and the proof is complete. I hope you found this helpful.